Martha, how long have you been on the patches? Oh, well, myself, it has been over a year. And so I know that we're going to be talking about your father tonight, but do you have any personal, anything you've seen just over the last year for you personally, even the most smallest thing? Definitely. Um, I was introduced to the patches by my neighbor uh, over almost a year ago, and she gave me some samples to try. I was very skeptical because I just didn't understand. Even though she explained to me the technology, it was kind of like, I mean, I just didn't really get it, but I tried the patches and I felt them right away. Um, she gave them to me. I tried them the, the following day and I noticed uh, my level of energy and concentration and it was just amazing. I felt, I felt unbelievable. And, uh, and I really liked it because I had an event um, coming up and I was very stressed out and I was, I was overwhelmed with everything that I had to do. But with the patches, I felt so calm. So, I mean, my mind was completely clear about everything. It was just amazing. I'm going to say in Spanish now. And also, can you say what, how, what age you are as well? Because this is amazing. And the one, I'm sorry? Will you also say what age you are? Oh, yes. I'm 52. <laughs> and, uh, and I started the patches like just right away. And yes, one of the things that I noticed as well was like my skin getting better and my hair, you know, getting stronger. So right after that, I started just doing a lot of research on my own because I felt incredible. So I just didn't, you know, I couldn't believe that the little tiny, uh, you know, band-aid or sticker was <laughs> making me feel that great. Mm -hmm. So so then I started just looking and, 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 and doing like, you know, a lot of research. And then I found out that there were some other patches and that they were helping different type of conditions. So I was very, very curious about that. That's when I real, um, I got a phone call from Colombia. That's where I'm from. And my dad, he is diabetic. And he, he had a little issue with his food because on top of his being diabetic, he has um, uric acid. So he has gout. And um, like a few months ago, um, he had like a little uh, tumor that he started just messing around with it. And somehow it got infected and started just growing. So he went to the doctor to, you know, to take a look. And the doctor said, this thing is infected. We have to remove it. But it is, um, it is very serious. I mean, it is a big wound. It is a big, but it's a big tumor. So you're going to have an open wound. So you need to be in the hospital in order to get better. We have to clean it up. We have to do all this in the hospital because you cannot have it at home. And if you know someone that has diabetic food or someone with diabetes, you know that it's very, very hard for them to, to have um, to heal a wound like this. And he had a little tiny one uh, years ago, and it, it took two years to seal completely. But what you guys see over here, that was a product of three months of patching him. So in the first picture, that's how it was. And you can see that it has a little bit of, you know, those that black area is, you know, it was you know, we were afraid that he was going to lose his foot. Mm -hmm. But um, with three weeks of patching, patching him, this is the result. But it wasn't only that, because what happened was, well, he was in the hospital and they were like cleaning and trying to make this uh, wound better. He couldn't uh, tolerate the pain. So they gave him morphine and it was very painful. And all these create a lot of um how should I say, a lot of chalk to his system. I mean, it was way too much. So uh, his kidneys start collapsing. His um, oh. his heart started just getting weak. Uh, he couldn't breathe. I mean, he everything started just deteriorating because of the morphine and the pain. It was so much to the point that they told us to, you know, that he was going to die. I mean, that's, that's how bad it was. In the process, he got COVID in the hospital. In the process, he got pneumonia in the hospital. And oh then... God. Somehow he ended up in a coma twice. Oh um, so it was horrible. So when they called me and they told me, Martha, you have to go home because your dad, our dad's going to die. Um, come over because we have to say goodbye. And that's when I run to my neighbor and I said, I need all the patches you have. Right after that, um, we took him home. And that's when I, that, that, and I just got all the patches and I went to Colombia. And when I saw my dad, it was, I mean, it was so sad because I mean, yes, he was like dying. I mean, literally um, he had uh, oxygen. He had a catheter because he couldn't go to the bathroom. He had a kidney infection. And, uh, and on top of it, I mean, he was very weak. He couldn't talk. He couldn't walk. He couldn't eat. He was just like 
ready to ready to die. And uh, and I was like, no, this hatches. I mean, I just knew it made me feel. And I saw the pictures and I read testimonials online and I said, these patches are gonna work. And like I mentioned before, what you see here is what the patches did in three weeks. And uh, and this was amazing. In those three weeks, I mean, prior to that, his kidney infection went away in three days after I put the, the patches. The oxygen, you know, the same day that they removed the, the catheter, the same day they removed the oxygen. And uh, and then he started just eating. And, you know, to the point that I was going to stay in Colombia for three months because I didn't know what was going to happen. I left there after three weeks, very excited for his recovery. And that was amazing. So that's my testimonial. Right now, my dad is doing great. He's amazing. His leg is perfect. I don't have a, an actual picture, but I, I'm going to get it soon of how he's doing right now. And his diabetes is, 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 um, is, um, I mean, he's, he's fine. He's he, he, he's not taking um, he's right stable. now. He's, he's stable. I guess it, it, it's controlled. He's not taking any insulin mm. insulin or any medications. Um, so he's doing great, and he's eighty seven years old. 